Hey, okay, so here is another way to paint cherry blossoms in an unconventional way. All right, so what you're gonna need for this is a straw and some liquidy paint. Um, I had this um, dark brown acrylic paint, um, which is way too thick, so I needed to add a bunch of water to thin it out. Um, if you have temper paint, it's a little bit more liquidy, but you're still gonna wanna add a little bit more water. Now, what you're gonna need to do is you wanna get a little bit of paint onto the paper. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the straw to blow the paint so it spreads out like branches, okay? You wanna make sure that you don't drink the paint. You wanna only blow it in one direction. So I already um, watered down this paint. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that all the little bits and chunks are out of it. This can be any color. It can be brown, it can be black, it can be green, it can be purple, it doesn't matter, whatever you have. Um, if you don't have a bigger paintbrush, you could also use like a little spoon and just put a little tiny bit, don't make a huge mess, but put a little bit on the um, paper and that could work. So there's no chunks, it's nice and smooth. So watch what I do here. I'm gonna start at the bottom where the branch is the biggest Getting a bunch of that on the paper. And now I'm going to take my straw and I'm gonna blow it in one direction, okay? So here I go. Does that look cool? Awesome, um, I think I might turn it like this. All right, so now that you have your branch, um, what I would do is I would definitely let this dry before you start adding your flowers, just because if you start adding um, other colors on top, um, it's just gonna mix with the brown and it's gonna get all muddied up. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna show you how I would uh, add the flowers. So I had some um, magenta paint, and I had some white paint that I'm gonna to mix together to make pink cherry blossoms. But you can use any colors you want. You can paint your color, uh, paint your flowers however you want. Cherry blossoms have five petals. So after um, you have your branch, just go over it and start adding your flowers. You can add some leaves. I'll make the inside a little bit darker. And you definitely wanna fill up the page and add a lot of different um, flowers. You could even maybe have another branch coming from this direction. Um, this is just a really fun, cool way to create branches um, in a way that you might not have tried before, all right? Uh, have fun.